A recent article in the Journal of Aesthetic and Restorative Dentistry highlights the relevance of beam inhomogeneity on the spectral emission from dental curing lights. This video will demonstrate this effect using a polywave LED curing light. This light contains two separate LED chips, each delivering different wavelengths. As you can see, as the light is moved over the sensor, the spectral emission changes quite dramatically. Here we see an integrating sphere with a 4 mm diameter aperture. We're now going to center the curing light over this 4 mm diameter aperture, and we're going to move the curing light 3 mm up. As we move the curing light up, we can see that the spectral emission received by the integrating sphere changes quite dramatically and the ratios of the peaks changes. We're now going to show what happens when you move the curing light down 3 mm. As you can see, as the light moves down, the ratios of the two peaks changes quite dramatically and really the light becomes a different curing light. These results can all be explained by the location of the two different LED chips within the head of this curing light. When this light is viewed through an orange filter, you can see this effect also. You'll notice that one LED chip is very bright and the other one is not really visible at all. This will greatly affect the spectral emission received by a resin.